Hey there, Paula Rizzo here, and I'm joined by Teresa Lyons, who is a professor of healing of autism. And she and I got to know each other um, a bit to, a while back, right? And uh, we've been chit-chatting for quite a while. And uh, as many of you know, my background is in um, television news and specifically health, health media. And so uh, Teresa and I have spoken about autism quite a lot because I've covered it through the years. And uh, so recently you had some interesting interest from media outlets, right? And so you and I are going to chit chat about that a little bit um, because now you need to go pitch them. And so I want to see if I can help you out a little bit. So give me the, the backstory here. You had pitched a story to a local TV station, right? Correct. I pitched a story to a local um, reporter and I had worked with her before on a previous story. So we had a relationship. It wasn't just a cold pitch. Um, mm -hmm. And she had told me if I ever had a good story for her to let her know. So I was kind of cultivating that relationship. And so for, <laughs> for <laughs> April, it's Autism Awareness Month. And um, there was a uh, organization, a local organization that is doing some great work, having an integrated workforce. So you have adults with autism who are independently working in an integrated workforce. Now there's okay. a class action lawsuit going on because um, an organization used by the Oscars and the Grammys were paying um, workers with disabilities less than a dollar to do very menial tasks. Wow. So they're, and that is allowed by law, but it's just because so many people don't understand the abilities of someone with a disability. Ah, so, I see. So this organization that you know of, that's a local organization, what correct. they do is they basically help adults with autism to find jobs, right? To find things for them to do, right? Yeah, they have, they have their own um, organization. So they, have, they provide the actual jobs and it's an integrated workforce, meaning that there mm -hmm. are people with disabilities and people without disabilities. So that's okay. very, very unique. And they do but business- But this is all separate from the, the Oscars thing. The Oscars Correct. thing is just like, this is, it, this is a newsworthy thing because of this. Correct, right. Got it's it. Autism okay. Awareness Month and there's a current lawsuit going on. Um, that, you know, Oscars, Grammys, that kind of pulls the viewer in. So it, it. I was thinking of that as the hook. Ah, I see. Okay. So it's unrelated. It's I mean, unrelated. Okay. But, but so the, relevant. the company that creates these integrated um, experiences, right? They are local. And so when you pitched it to the reporter, she liked it, but her managers didn't love it because it feels very uh, it could be kind of commercial, which is sort of what I thought. As soon as you told me about it, I was like, okay, it's one organization. That's a little bit of a tough sell. Anytime you're pitching media when it's just one thing, it looks like, oh, that could be like a commercial for this one company yeah. or a commercial for just this one book or a commercial, you know what I mean? So yeah. the media is a little bit allergic to that. Um, they want a wider, like, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see the, the broader scope of this. Mm -hmm. How is this being done or being used in other, in, in other communities or other ways? If somebody, you know, doesn't have access to this company, how could they still get something out of it? Right. Uh, so what do, you, what do you think? What is sort of the zoom out on, on this? Even though this organization is great and they're doing really good things. Well, the manager um, gave some pushback and said, um, how, how are the people finding this? So, yeah, there's a place that offers jobs, but how do you become job ready? So mm -hmm. then um, we were thinking about, and I have a good relationship with the reporter, so she comes back and tells me like, okay, how, you know, can we do something like this? Right. And so um, there's a, a college a local college here that does do that does have certain training it's been doing it for 32 years and then the idea was okay let's try and get uh, an administrator from that program and then a successful person who went through that program mm -hmm. to talk about how to prepare for um, having a job and being independent which is very unusual for someone with autism. That's, that's like the dream of a parent. So it's very relevant to someone in the autism world, but sure. for those not in the autism world, it doesn't feel as meaningful. So it's kind of hard to bridge that gap and make that story meaningful to everyone listening to it. So I know we don't have that part of the story. Oh, I see. 
I see. So, uh, you know, as you're talking about it, um, you know, it's just so interesting because it is a lot of the back and forth with the reporter or with the producer or, or whoever, you know, whoever your contact is. And a lot of times people think, oh, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to pitch one story and that's going to be it. Like that <laughs> never happened, even with, you know, with me, I was like, okay, what else do you have? What else? Could you? It's very much a, a back and forth. So you're doing, you're doing it right. Um, the idea behind there being um, some education here, right? Because people don't realize what a big deal this is. So that's, of mm -hmm. course, your place to be able to, to bridge that gap and to show people. But I wonder if it is, is that, um, could you show what types of jobs are being done? You know, is there a, a I would call it like a patient story. Is there a person who we could go to their, to their job with them and show that it is, is something um, to be able, maybe there's two people you could do that with so that you can actually show and then talk to their families and, and whatever it is, you know? Yeah. So I had that for, um, I have one person who works at this integrated workforce and I got his mom to agree to, to be Great. interviewed. Um, but again, it was, it, it was feeling really one dimensional kind of mm -hmm. just that, that pushback of it's, of it's only one. And what, what is the job? Cause I'm wondering if there's something we can, we can push into having it be like different areas or different things mm. that we can highlight, you know? It was a uh, graphic design. Huh. Graphic design. So like, that's like not a job I would have thought. What other kinds of jobs are, are they, are they, um, you know, getting, getting people ready for? Um, they do have also bakery and mm -hmm. um, a laundromat. But the okay. graphic design type work is the more uh, academic type work. Yes. Um, and it's also they're working with organizations like Google uh, so that those are Google is their customer, the MTA, different universities, mm -hmm. local universities. Um, so it's, it's a much more business type focused. Right. And that is definitely different, right? From, from typical. Okay. Yeah. So talk to me about that a little bit. Um, let's see. So the organization is a nonprofit, um, mm -hmm. but they are actually profitable. So they are up to doing $5 million worth of this graphic design and like screen printing work. Um, they do have these major corporations as customers with the integrated workforce. The corporate customers um, are working with this organization for more corporate social responsibility mm -hmm. um, so that um, these these corporations um, are interested in yes getting the work done but also they're interested in supporting those with autism so mm -hmm. it, it so from a business better. standpoint like it's a you know that's nice and that's noble and it's you know but I care less about that as a story as a viewer as somebody who's yeah. watching right like that mm -hmm. to me is like ah good for them you know like that's nice <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know um, but I want more of like the personal story right more of like the the who is this person or who who is the company I wonder if there were, was a way to even have if if this person with autism was working with a local company mm. was helping them to design something I don't know like I'm just trying oh. to think, like, if it was that they designed you know their logo or they helped to design the artwork on the outside of the building or I don't know if it was a local business that would be able that would be like a nice integration to show you could talk to the shop owner or whoever you know what I mean oh. who's using their designs you could talk to the family you could talk to this person about how this is a, sort of an atypical job um, that people would, would be doing if they had autism but look hey this this person is doing it and look at this amazing result just trying to think like visually if there's something we can show and then to integrate it to be more like community based. I don't know if that exists. No, it, but kind of, it does. They they were working on a project um, designing and then also I'm not sure how much of the manufacturing they did, but for the um, MTA jackets. So the guys that are working oh. the crew with the reflection, you know, every New York. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Of course, right. We so see that that might be very visual. You know, you see hmm. the jacket and. Very visual. And it's sort of like the, the, the story behind the story, you know, it's sort of like, wow, you would have never known, you know, if it's a New York story, if it's a, a local New York, you know, uh, outlet to be able to say, Hey, you know, New Yorkers on the street are walking by these, these jackets every single day. Guess who, guess who put that together? You know, right. it's sort of like a nice, uh, kind of an interesting slice of yeah. life New York thing, you know? Yeah. And it's very know. visual for TV. I very think visual. Just Exactly. So I don't know. I mean, I think that would be, that would be kind of a cool, cool way, you know, go, go back to your person, see, or, or at least see what you can, 
can get, you know, to right. be able to say, can I, would this be something we could show? Could this be something of interest? You know, mm -hmm. um, I think it might be, I think, especially for local, um, because then you're not really like highlighting just that one, that one organization. It's more of like, Hey, look at the greater good in, in what's happening, you know, here. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. I like that. Hmm. I like that quite a bit. Good. Well, let me know how it, how it goes. And obviously, you know, send out, uh, you know, shoot me back an email. Let me know if it works out and when, when it does, cause I know if, if not even this, something else will come through and that's how it goes. You got to kind of be diligent and keep coming up with the ideas and cause it is a noble cause. I mean, you want people to know about it. So. Yeah. Thank you very much. Work. Of I really didn't know how much back and forth this was involved. I, yes. I have to say, I thought you kind of pitch and it's either like yes or no. And <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes yeah. it is. But, you know, and especially though that you're a repeat guest, you know, that she's already worked with you. Right. This is where, it's, this is going to happen even more because mm. that's what I did with my go-to experts. I'd be like, well, what else you got? What else is there? What, <laughs> yeah. I knew there'd be something, you know, like you're the expert here. So I could, I could find out even more from you. It's not just a one hit wonder. So this is right. actually a good thing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank well, you for talking luck. through it with me. Of course. Of course. See you soon. Bye. And for more ways to get the media to pay attention to you, I want you to check out my checklist. It is a checklist for becoming a go-to media expert. And the way that you can get it is to go to paularizzo.com slash checklist.